uh, by Freiburg on Friday. Martin Smith has returned to the England squad. He's in contention to face Ireland in the Six Nations on Saturday. Uh, Harlequin's fly half Smith is yet to feature in the tournament due to a calf injury. And it's an ever changing story at the top of the WSL. Talksport reporter Uma Magurav has more.
Jake Rallin, of course, just alongside me. Lots to get into during the final hour of today's show. Former Premier League ref Mark Halsey will join us to look back at some of the biggest refereeing talking points of the weekend, including that decision to give Liverpool the ball in the 98th minute. Talk TV presenter and huge Arsenal fan Piers Morgan will join us to look ahead to the Aaron Ramsdale derby live on Talk Sport tonight. Don't think you have much part to play in it, though. And um, West Ham fans, where are you? Two wins, seven goals, two points off six. On Europa League last 16 times look forward to. We want you to send your apologies to David Moyes as a voice note on WhatsApp to 037.722344. Now, though, only one team in Manchester has bragging rights today. Speaks, he, he 
a little bit too deep for my liking or look it up a little bit and also then when, when you need to change the game at the moment they beat but I would score again you know, the substitutions that you make you take all your pace out you take all your you take your driving force and midfield off you take your best defender off I, I, I don't get that I, 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 are they being rested for the next game or I, I really really don't get the substitutions and when you look at Pep still, Pep's only substituting two players. I mean, generally he doesn't substitute a lot. Yesterday there was substitution. I thought that from that moment on, I, I just don't get it, you know? Yes, Rashford scores a really, really good goal, but he is a player. And it's all when you see that in the game. He only needs one pass and he's through. Why take him off? Why put somebody on who has the he has made an assist since April. He hasn't scored a goal for me since April. Why put somebody like that on instead of Rashford? Why take an actual on? I don't get it. Of course, when, when you take for me, the, the best midfield player we've had for years, he played really well yesterday. I know. When you take him off and put somebody on who doesn't fit into the team, I, I just don't get that. When we talk about the gulf between the two sides, Peter, how the heck do you know how to close that gulf? Because I'm, I'm not thinking of any rebuilding job. Where do you even start? If you look at the back, Evans, Lindelof, Ferran in midfield, Casemiro and Eriksen probably both beyond their best. A couple of rookies, if you like, up front with Hoyland and Ganacho. Where do you start a rebuilding process? Well, I think there is. There's a great opportunity now with Ineos coming in as a so, so minority or it's taking over the football uh, business all the uh, by the looks of it a lot, taking over a lot. Uh, so that here's an opportunity to, to kind of identify, you know, who who is it that we want to be. So if in a way as as you if you start up a company, you do a mission statement, this is what this is what we want to be, this is how we're gonna go about that. That opportunity is there now. So I, I think I, I think when I saw the interview with uh, Jim uh, Jim Ratcliffe the other day when he said but it's a process, it's going to take some time. I'm asking everyone for a bit of patience. Now, we've been listening to that for 11 years since Sir Alex left the club. Uh, but at no, at no point throughout that period has it made more sense than now. We, we need time as Manchester United to to rebuild a lot in the football club. And that's not, that's not just a new stadium. I forgot to talk about that. That is, of course, in, uh, in the squad. The, the coaching staff, they've already started the process, the backroom staff, the people behind, the people making decisions on football, the matters, all of that has got to be, the decisions has got to be made, I think, and, and, and how that's going to look, and then of course you've got to make these people time. Uh, and the good thing about this is that Manchester United holds a rich form of money. Manchester United makes a lot of money, change over a lot of money. And, 
the fire service and the one who sits on my back whilst I do press-ups. When he shaved his head, I shaved mine, and so did all our friends. Such a loving wee son, whose resilience I'll never be able to understand. His name's Archie, and I'm racing for him. No matter how cancer affects us, life is worth racing for. Sign up to your local event at raceforlife.org in partnership with headline sponsor Standard Life. We're Ben MGM Sports of the City. We know things aren't always golden. That's why we offer you the tools to keep your place safe. Set time up to always ensure you take a break when you feel like you need it. Set reality checks so you know exactly how long you've been playing. And set the pilot limits to help control what you spend. Stay golden with Bet MGM, the latest sponsor. 18 plus. Talk sport, traffic and travel with my dear. Drive down the cost of cooling and eating with my pro. 10 year warranties and first year service contributions. Reroute to my dear.
reported German Air Force officers were caught talking on an encrypted, unencrypted phone call. And some people on social media claim that they've seen the spectacular shades of green and red in the Northern Lights as far south as Cornwall.
focus for our sports it should be to try and be Porto, get as far as we can, great. But the focus should be the Premier League. But last season, we chose the league. There's no other way to describe what happened. We should have won it, but we chose it. But we chose it, we didn't have the right kind of players with the right kind of mentality. And I think putting people like Declan Rice now in front of the defence is really purring. The keeper, who I think has proven Arteta's faith in him right, uh, I think that you put it all together and you've got to say that Arsenal right now have a better team and a better mentality than we did last season. And we're playing football, which frankly is scintillating. And I say that as someone who, at the end of last se- last year, uh, I thought, this is all over. I thought we were just out of the league title race and the team seemed to be falling apart. We then had that, that mid-season break and my God, the difference has been absolutely spellbinding, both up, up front and at the back. I mean, it's interesting, yes, isn't it, because nobody's talking about Aaron Ramsdale anymore, nobody's talking about the lack of a striker anymore, but you go to Sheffield United as overwhelming favourites this evening, and that in itself brings about a, a different sort of pressure, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's these kind of games that decide if you win the title. You know, I, I don't think City and Liverpool will win every one of their remaining games. They've got to play each other apart from the others. Uh, but what's absolutely crucial to us is that we don't do what we did last year, which is start to lose against teams which should be hammering. Uh, we should hammer Sheffield United tonight. No question. The form we're in, the form they're in, this is a no-brainer, three points. If we don't, we don't deceive to deserve to win the league. I think we will. I think our centre is emerging as one of the best coaches in Europe right now. I think the pressing style that we're playing with all 11 players engaged in it is working fantastically well. I think what's really interesting, I don't know what you guys think, but I've been watching the tactics, for example, that the first part of the season, Saka and Martinelli were getting neutralised because opponents were putting two players on at the moment they got the ball. And so what did our tenant do? He brought in Hammers up front, the trust up, because Jacobs has been injured, and suddenly he got forward and swarming around up front, almost impossible to defend against, and suddenly were banging in goals for fun. That is a tactical masterstroke by our tenant. I would not have relied on Kai Hammers. I would not have put my faith in that guy to be the front man for Arsenal. But I think most Arsenal fans like me have come around to them because trusted the process of Arteta. Whether it's where in the back, where I was a big Ramsdale fan, whether it's how it's up front now, as the link guy for all these swarming attackers. It is there's no question it works. But if you ask me above all else, what has been the difference? Declan Rice. I think Declan Rice has been the best signing Arsenal made since Dennis Bergkamp back in the mid nineties. I take your point, I thought Harvey's played that number nine uh, false nine against Newcastle. I thought he was brilliant. However, here's you mentioned Saka, Odegaard, Harvey's Martinelli Rice. I still see, and you might disagree with me, that the two vital players at this moment in time in the Arsenal side are Saliba and Gabriel. We saw last year when you lost one of them, I don't think you can afford to lose a centre back. No, I, I think that's right. But we have. fit Declan Rice, that could be one of the most formidable central defensive midfield pairings since we had Vieira and Petit. So I think there's a lot that we to be excited by. We're not going to get overexcited because of what happened last season. We know we chose it, but I think this is a better squad, way better squad for last season. And I think mentally they're so much stronger. And by the way, on the Saka Foden debate, yes, Foden's a very good player, but Saka is better. Yes, you've got the last word as usual. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Have a good day. <laughs> just, just a brief word, Ali, about Sheffield United because there are two teams involved in this. Of now, course. people have written Sheffield United off, but I just wonder are they clinging to the hope that Forrest and Ever get a deduction here, Pont? And if it was six points again, that would bring them down to 18 and 19. And you know what? Sheffield United will still be, despite the fact it's been a calamitous season. Still be within touching distance. Oh, you better believe it.
You absolutely better believe it. However, that's what I mean. There's no getting away from it. You know, I, I said, and I got a little bit of stick for it. My three, right at the start of the season, when we were making predictions, I, I, I said, actually, the three promotions would go down. And, the, the, you know, the chip.